Hello there. Welcome to another How I Draw video by Ed Trudeau. On this video, Ed will show us how he draw hair. Whenever you have hard time drawing something, you tend to find a reference. So we go online and search the web. When you type the word hair, the search will show tons of hair pictures. Whether if it's colored photograph, line art, or even black and white picture, you still ask yourself how to draw it. Let us begin on a little interpretation about the highlights on the hair. The hair is like a ribbon. When you draw it, it will be something like this. It has highlights and secondary highlights and gradient shadings. If you're going to draw the shape of the hair in ribbon form, it should appear like this. Here's an example of Ed's drawing of the hair. Ed will now show you how he draw it. Ed has pre-drawn the head and now drawing the shape of the hair. Using a kneaded eraser, Ed will start by drawing the shape of the hair and the flow lines. The flow lines are the lines that were drawn in the hair. This will be the guide for the flow of the entire hair. Now it's time to draw the shadings and highlights. Ed uses random zigzags according to the flow lines. The zigzags should have closed and broken to create a gradient effect. It should also have longer and shorter lines. Instead of creating gradient, just like the ribbon example, zigzagging effect will make the strands of the hair work. give it a life, Ed added some strands flying away. Now for an example for the male hair, this is almost the same as the example on female hair, it's just shorter. The rendering of the shades and highlights are the same. Remember to where to place the highlights. You can always draw less, rather than overdo it. Here is Ed's example. He started by drawing by the hairline, and continuously draw the entire shape of the hair. Just like the gradient example, Ed will apply the same zigzag rendering as the female hair.
lastly, more strands going out. When a female hair is tied up, all you got to do is to draw the flow lines going to the tie. The ribbon example is also applied here. Here's the last example where Ed used same rendering on a long wavy hair. He first draw the shape of wavy hair, then the flow lines. The flow lines are curve and wavy. It is necessary to have randomness on the flow lines. Remember, do not overdo the rendering on the highlights, to make it believable. Lastly, adding some more strands of hair. Here's a video example, where I'd used a clutch pencil with HP LED. This rendering is also applicable to the tutorial. We hope you enjoy this video. Please join us again on the second part of drawing hair.